Hi everyone, your host Josh Hall here with another episode of Video Mania, and today I've got an exciting review for you. It's the Mole Richardson 200 watt midget light. So now these are the kind of lights that you're going to see on motion picture studio sets all over the world. Mole Richardson was founded in 1927 by Peter Mole and was started in California and is still producing lights in Hollywood, California. Now this review is geared towards people who are just starting out as my channel is affordable video equipment. However, at some point you're going to want to upgrade your gear and going with Mole Richardson's, Aries, Peppers or Altman lights uh, or even Desisti, although I would put them at the very bottom. These are great lights to look into as you upgrade your light kit. So now let's talk about some of the pros of the Mole Richardson Midget Light. Production lights in general typically have a way that you can wrap up the cord and tie it onto the harness of the light. So here we have a simple rope that attaches it to the light. This cord has been maintained very well, wrapped the same way every time so it doesn't get all out of whack. One big thing that I like about Mole Richardson lights is that it's almost entirely uh, metal or aluminum and the construction is very, very rugged and the metal is very, very thick. So if you drop it, you're going to damage the floor, you're not going to damage your light. I've used all kinds of lights. I've used Mole Richardson's, Aries, Peppers, Lowell lights and so forth. But I just really like the solid construction of the Mole Richardson lights and knowing that they've been in business in the USA for so long. Even though Peter Mole, the man who founded the company in 1927, is from Sicily. But he moved here when he was six. Now the big advantage of a tungsten Fresnel light is that you have the Fresnel lens to work with. And what the Fresnel lens will allow you to do is uh, make the beam of light wider or narrower and more focused, which is great for film and video. What it also does is it softens the light a lot as well. So it looks great on somebody's face as opposed to open face lights and you don't even necessarily need to use any light modifiers on it. One of the other nice things is the solid plug that comes with it with ground line and it also comes with an inline rocker switch to turn the light off and on. The other nice thing about buying a professional motion picture studio light is that you have professional barn doors and you also have scrims that you can use in your light to cut some of the light off. And here I've got a number of different scrims that you can buy with the light. The green ones are called singles, they cut out less light, and the red ones are called doubles, they cut out more light, which will be helpful to know for those of you who are just starting out. They also come in a half single and double, and a bag to carry them around in is always great. So what are some of the cons about the Mole Richardson Midget Light? One thing, as with any motion picture studio lights, regardless of company, is that they run very, very hot. So once again, you're going to need a pair of gloves that are thick and that have leather, preferably, on the inside so that you don't burn your fingers. That's for when you're adjusting barn doors and taking the light off of the stand to, over to the truck. But you'll want to let it cool for a while before you move it. One of the other biggest cons about this light is the price as well. This runs, as with any motion picture studio equipment, far more expensive than the other lights that you're going to find. And the accessories are far more as well. For the price of this light at bnhphotovideo.com, which is where I recommend you buy any professional equipment so that you avoid knockoffs of any kind, this light will run you around $318, the barn doors will run you around $77, the light bulb inside will run you anywhere between $5 and $30, the scrims are going to be about $12 to $13 a piece, and the bag is going to be expensive as well, between $15 and $30 depending on what you get. And then there are other accessories that you can get as well, like snoots. The snoots will run you about $65 for a set. Another negative about this light is that the Fresnel focus knob is plastic actually and can ship very easily especially if you drop the light or you're not careful with it. The only other thing about these lights that I'm not quite so fond of um, is that there's no way to connect the barn doors on the top. Airy lights have a fourth connector on the top that you can pull up and over your barn doors to keep it nice and secure. These ones you have to have attachments to attach to the yoke of the light. The other thing about these tungsten Fresnels is that the Fresnel will rattle a little bit. And that's because it's only held in there by this little metal piece right here. Which you can pull back uh, and remove the Fresnel lens in order to get to the bulb on the inside. Now another way that you can buy these is used. There are many used websites out there. There's Pyramid Films, there's Used Lighting, uh, there's eBay, and you can even find some used lighting on bnhphotovideo.com and you can find them on other websites as well. Those are great resources as you're looking to buy lights, especially lights with all of the modifiers included because modifiers are very expensive. So I'm going to turn this light on. 
I'm going to step back away from the camera. I'm going to point this light at the wall so that you can see just how well it focuses. All right, so here's the Moore Richardson light. I'm going to open up the barn doors all the way so that you can just see the spot and flooding feature. This is the light turned on. This is all the way open. And now I'm going to focus the light for you. That is the kind of focus you can expect. As you can see, it's a beautiful circle, which is what Mole will give you with their Fresnel lenses, as well as the other manufacturers as well. I'm gonna open it back up, and there it is. Lighting is all about control, and that's why you have the barn doors, the scrims, the flags, uh, bounce boards, silks, and other light modifiers. Getting good lighting that's going to last you for years and years is very important. In fact, if you're just starting out in video, I would recommend that you get a good set of lights before you invest in a really expensive camera because technology is going to change, but these lights have been here for many, many years. Now the reason that you don't see a whole lot of reviews on Moll Richardson lights or Airy lights or Peppers or Altman lights or Desisti lights is because the professionals already know all about this. In fact, if you're buying these, uh, you very likely had a lot of experience with these lights. However, I hope that this has been informative for those of you who are just starting out in lighting or just starting out in video or photography because these lights are great for all of the above. Now, as I've mentioned before, in various studios and on various sets, I've used all kinds of different movie lighting. And the reason that I went with Moore Richardson is because of its rugged construction. And it's a light that I can trust. I expect this light to outlive me. I expect to hand it down to my kids someday. It's not overly engineered. It's simple to fix if anything goes wrong with. And the supplier and manufacturer is right here in California. So the two brands that I would recommend if you're getting into lighting are Moore Richardson's and Airy Lights. Those are going to be the two that you're going to see the most often on movie sets. However, these lights are once again very expensive. So look at your used options as well as you first start getting your lighting kits assembled. If you're looking at those two companies, Moore Richardson and Airy, I see the Moore Richardson as that older, dependable, rugged brother who's very sensible. Whereas Airy lights are kind of the more cool, fashionable younger brother. Both lights are great and I've used both of them extensively. They're both quality construction. The uh, Airy lights look a little bit more modern, sleek. They're made out of all aluminum. They're great. The Moore Richardson lights are rugged. They have a classic look. You can tell that they're more Richardson lights because of the color, the maroon kind of color that they are, and the more classic Hollywood studio light look. So I'm going to be putting up more light reviews in the coming months, so please watch out for those. I hope that this review has been helpful to you and insightful as well. If you have any questions or comments about this light or any other light, please ask me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see anything on the next episode of the Video Maverick, please let me know and I'll do my best to accommodate you. Thanks for watching.